So let's jump right in and start with our new version trailer. Let's do it! Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. We have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Huh? Did I just see something dart by? Having the doctor gone benefits him as well as us. <sighs> Doctor on the ship. Amazing. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, this is such a happy trailer. Sucks. Take yourself at home. But now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. Ayo? Is it too late for an extension? Ha! Not now. Stars, shine for me. I... Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. So... You think this is over? Wait... No... I... Can't... That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. The Balladeer has already... Already become a god? No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. At my command, you shall fall. My endless cycle begins. Your ploy was to sacrifice the traveler Stop here, it. was it not? Nilu, are you sure about this? You're taking such a great risk for them. I... I must admit that I'm a what little scared. scared. But I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ahitham's well, plan is even more radical than I imagined. Brothers! Let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with! Wizard, you've betrayed all of Sumeru, betrayed its Archon! Creating a god. We are using human wisdom to create a god. Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. What? Oh, we are the oh no. Why are we so small? <laughs> Why were we so... Why were we so tiny? <laughs> energy into this. Yeah, the Balladeer has lots of strong and awesome looking abilities, so why don't we start by checking out some gameplay from the new boss battle? Sounds good. Woo! Uh, did we did we need did we need that height? Do we need that size? It's a lot of elements, actually. Who's singing? Damn. Bro, I'm, I'm terrified. What the frick is this? Oh, wow. Just look at the size of it. Pretty sure this boss is going to push travelers to the limit. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, that thing is huge. 
And come to think of it, this is like the third Fatui Harbinger boss battle we've had. They really keep stepping up the art and design every time. It's so awesome. It's got a concert, yeah. so cool. I know, right? <laughs> this is an ultra-powerful puppet we're going up against here. So we're talking huge attacks and epic moves. Let's break it down a bit. In the first phase of the battle, the Balladeer will use his massive arms to attack everyone. The arms are capable of utilizing different elemental powers God and there are several here. types of abilities, including attacks that create fields of burning or freezing effects on the ground. Oh, you know what? He this fight kind of reminds me of when we more? fight ruin guards. I think we'll have to come up with a way to paralyze it. Right! And you might have noticed there What's are some arcane bit? formations on the ground, so What's activating those might trigger some interesting effects. And I bet a lot of people are wondering what that thing is floating next to us. Yeah. Not gonna lie, he's kinda cute. Oh, maybe it's a Paimon reskin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but no. Not only is it super cute, but it's also super powerful. Travelers will need to charge energy for this little helper and use its special skill to counter the boss in battle. A helper in a boss fight? Yeah, that's definitely not Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> Once the Balladeer has transformed into this massive form, our usual attacks won't deal any tangible damage to him. So, the only thing capable of breaking through his defenses will be our little helper that we just oh. mentioned. There will even be some moments in the fight where travelers will need to use an aiming mode to attack the boss's weak points. <laughs> Who would have guessed that little thing would be so important against a boss the size of the Balladeer? <laughs> I know, right? They also use some amazing special effects for all of the Balladeer's moves. Speaking of which, the cosmic appearance, the spacey special effects of his skills, really kind of remind me of the Raiden Shogun skills. Yeah. Ah, you're right. And seriously, I can't wait to check out this new boss fight. I'm so hyped. <laughs> yeah. So now that we've covered the new boss battle, I think it's time to introduce the first of our new playable characters coming in version 3.2. Let's welcome Lesser Lord Kusanali, a.k.a. Nahida. Yay! Hey, finally! <laughs> After everything we've experienced in the story so far, I think Nahida's already like a good friend to us. It's seriously so crazy what we've been through. Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that, Zach. Okay, so throughout our journey, maybe everyone's already noticed some of the... unique... yeah, let's call it that unique metaphors that Nahida likes to use, and yeah, they can be pretty out there. Or sometimes she'll use really childlike language to describe some deep or profound idea. But the truth is, she has yet to set foot in the outside world since she was born. To her, all the knowledge that she has in her mind is like pieces of scenery that she's never seen with her own eyes. Totally. It's really hard to imagine that the god of wisdom had been locked up for <laughs> you 500 <need> years. <laughs> Guys, technically uh, we're makes hearing me upset just thinking about it. voice right but now. But I'm well. sure everything will work out sooner or later. Hmm. If travelers would like to spend more time with Nahida, then be sure to check out Nahida's story quest, Sapientia or Maste's chapter. The quest will be available upon completing the Sumeru Archon quest. So be sure to check out the quest to learn more. I'm very excited it's for this. I bet we'll get to spend more time with her. But I want to see Nahida in battle. What you got for us, Kimberly? Oh, I've got lots to share. But before we get to that, let's have a quick peek at Nahida in action. What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. Grow, grow, grow! The Temple of Wisdom! Oh. <laughs> wow. She's so cute. Aww. Look at her. I love her. <laughs> oh, little Nada is so cute. I love how she hops around when she's fighting. That oh, boost, and her yep. swing too. <laughs> so what's that skill that looks like she's using a viewfinder or something? <laughs> that seems pretty different. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with her viewfinder-ish kind of skill, which is actually her elemental skill. As a Catalyst user, Nahida's combat style is pretty unique. You may cast her elemental skill by tapping the skill button, or you may hold the button to enter an aiming mode. Opponents who are selected while aiming will be linked by Nahida's special mark. After you trigger elemental reactions on opponents who are linked and when they take damage from dendro cores, 
Nahida will unleash Tri Karma Purification, dealing Dendro damage. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I love how it's like connecting the enemies together. Mm hmm. Outside of combat, Nahida can use her elemental skill and enter the aiming mode we just mentioned to interact with certain harvestable items, allowing her to collect items directly to the inventory from a oh, distance. That's actually Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Being able to harvest materials like that is going to be so cool. <laughs> That'll really save us some time. Yeah. This skill may also have some additional uses, so travelers will have to give it a try mm, themselves. That's a very cool passive. Ooh, okay. Nahida's elemental burst is where things get really interesting. Upon unleashing her burst, Nahida manifests the Court of Dreams, expanding a special field. Yeah, That's she's using it pretty on amazing. The effect well. really does but I don't look think we like some royal them. court or <laughs> palace. No, we yeah. can't collect Different NPCs. effects will be produced based on whether there are pyro, electro, and hydro characters in the party. While Nahida is within the special field, a pyro member in the party will increase the damage of Tri Karma Purification. An Electro Party member will decrease the intervals at which Tri Karma Purification is triggered, and a Hydro Party member will cause the duration of the field to be increased. Hmm. If there are at least two party members of the elemental types I just mentioned, then the effects will be increased further. Um. Whoa, this is blowing my mind right now. We'll really have to focus on which effects we want to achieve and put some thought into our team's composition. Right? A key thing to remember is that these effects can be triggered while Nahida is not on the battlefield, as long as the active character remains in the special field radius. Oh. Nice. <laughs> also, in addition to Nahida, we have one other character joining us in version 3.2. <laughs> That's right. She is a very peculiar academia student. Her name is Layla. Most days, she looks super tired and anxious, which seems to be a direct result of her relentless She's struggle so with her studies. Yeah, and not only is she frail and anxious looking, but she also studies astrology. So, it's no wonder people around her might consider her a little strange and mysterious. Mm. And even though she's always groaning about her studies, most of Layla's research work is actually fine overall. It's just her lack of confidence that's really holding her back. And that's when her unusual ability comes into God, play. New plus and more her now. ability is sleepwalking. <laughs> yeah. While she is sleeping, Layla unleashes her true self, allowing her to regain the confidence she needs and activate the talents and strengths she's had all along. As soon as she starts sleepwalking, her unfinished papers no longer seem like the monumental what? tasks they were, and she completes them in no time. <laughs> this is definitely something she, she only Layla can do. She sleep completes Our viewers should her try to do this with their own homework. <laughs> but does Layla have any idea what happens when she's sleepwalking? I mean, does she know that she has this ability? Uh, she seems to be aware of it. <laughs> the papers are obviously full of her handwriting, after all. But there have been some weird instances. For example, once during crunch time while researching, she sleepwalked and climbed the wall of Salmio. And then randomly bumped into Candace. Such weird occurrences this have made her start to wonder true. what's really going on. <laughs> and aside from her sleepwalking, just like any other student, Layla has many typical things that she hopes to achieve, as well as some regrets. She wants to be able to make friends and go out and have fun. But it seems like she'll never be able to do any of that <laughs> until she graduates. Hmm. And actually... I'm guessing that she uses her sleepwalking abilities in combat too, right? <laughs> you bet. Let's have a look at Layla in combat. Sweet. Even when we're not looking up at the stars, they're always there. <gasps> Watch you. My guiding stars. She actually fell asleep. Shut 